Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm Kat. And today we're doing Plants vs. Zombie Garden Warfare. Holy crap, this one came out of left field. Who oh, knew? It's it's amazing. I was shocked. I mean, I was really addicted to the game. I've missed so many subway stops playing that game when it initially came out. And this game is really, really great as well. And for those of you who don't know, it's a co-op third-person shooter. And yes, of course, it comes from that game that we all played on our phones. Now, what's so interesting to me is to see a developer take something that's so... Not simple, but just this like simple little fun game you play on the go and turn it into this. Like just go, okay, from this genre to this genre. Every aspect of the game is very well designed there. It's not perfect, but there's so much to love here and very little to hate. Let's start with the thing that you see right off the bat as soon as you start the game, the graphics. The yes. graphics looked great. It was so vivid. It was detailed. It was the same vividness the Ooh. game had there, but with way more details, you way mean, more You colors. mean the iPhone game there. Yeah. That's what you're saying. That's yeah. I couldn't believe the amount of work that went into the, these environments. It's not like you can go up to everything and interact with everything. No. There's just simple physics in the world. So it's like you can jump. Some of them have special abilities to actually shoot themselves over things and land on roofs, but in terms of the world, I, I haven't seen a game like this on Next Gen for, I don't know, ever, because I haven't seen one like this. It's so vibrant. The design team did such an amazing job transferring it from that iPhone game to a major scale 3D game. It looks like, like the only way I could really describe it would be if like Pixar took something from the past like a Mickey Mouse cartoon and made it in 3D. You can tell the teams that did this seriously had something and they knew it and they really, really nailed every aspect of the art department. The level design, the levels are huge. The level design is fantastic. Oh. oh my gosh. It's happy. That's the best part so about this game. So happy and silly. Like the characters, you can customize them. So your plant, you can add like asparagus coming out of the back of it or like coconut glasses or there's just a variety there's, of ways you can make so it many, your own. Yeah, there's so many silly things that it just is over the top, but it's very well made and fun to play. In this game, you can play as plants and you can play as zombies. And in each of them, there's four different main characters you can play as. Yes. In the plants, there's the pea shooter, the chomper, the sunflower, and the cactus. In the zombies, there's the foot soldier, the engineer, the scientist, and the all-star. So what we have here on each side are basically sort of like the, the usual relics of shooters. So you have like, the machine gun type, the the sharpshooter, you have the shotgun type, then you have the, the brute, the heavy force guy who just goes in there and destroys everything. So I'm not gonna go through every different type of player here. I'll we'll give you kind of an example on each team. So the pea shooter, who literally looks like a pea that's just opened up and he's got his little his little thing that you can put on his head, his like his leaves. His if kit. I find a plush toy that's a pea shooter, you want it, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. He shoots peas, they explode. And the splash damage actually does Damage, that, that, yeah, the splash. Yeah, 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 mm. you get it. I get it. When you shoot your pee, it splashes, and the splash does damage. So you don't have to be perfect. You could hit the floor and still get a bad guy, but you won't hit him with that many points. You have to aim for the head. The zombies, aim for the head, is literally translated into this game. Of course. All zombies take more damage in the head, which is brilliant and an homage to Not a Living Dead. You guys are awesome. Thanks for throwing that in there. The pea shooter has three unique abilities to himself, along with all of the other people in this game. So the four zombie types and the three other types of plants all have three different special abilities that you unlock over time by playing with them. So I'll give you an example. The pea shooter has a chili bean bomb, which is essentially a bomb that is a chili bean. And you throw it out there and it's like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> and it's so adorable and cute but you have to be really smart how you use this because it is a bean and it doesn't roll perfectly. So you have to actually kind of calculate, like I want it to go this way. So you kind of have to walk into it and throw it in that and you'll see it go like moving into the area. Boom, and it's, it's so interesting, just this, like a chili bean bomb. Mm -hmm. Then he has the ability to run, which I think is called Rush. Hyper Run. Okay, it's called Hyper Run, sorry for living. <laughs> which allows him to run for a certain amount of time on the map. Unfortunately, none of the characters have a running ability, so they've made those into special abilities. And I say unfortunate because I wish you could run at times, but then you kind of are like, oh, it's a special ability. It kind of balances out. The third one's a Gatlin gun. He basically does this thing and like flips up and then he turns it, his gun comes out. He's like, and he just shoots up everything. That right there 
is for heavy fire. That's for moments when you are under attack or your base, your yeah, guard. Yeah, you your machine gun. Yeah, you take those things out and, and it plants you into the ground, just like the Sunflower character. When you use that special ability, they each have this sort of really um, tough, tough powerful gun. Mm -hmm. And when you use those, you actually plant yourself into the ground, you can't move. So there's a strategy involved. You're like a little turret. Totally. The foot soldier has abilities like rocket jump, which allows you to rocket yourself up onto pedestals or rooftops, and then sort of snipe, take people out from the roof. But the other side also has that ability, so you have to be careful because you have to watch out for those people. Mm -hmm. He also yeah. has an RPG, so he sort of bends down and shoots this big RPG forward. So that's another <coughs> good attack you can use. Now to game modes. The first one is Garden Ops. What's Garden Ops? It's essentially horde mode from Gears of War. So waves and waves of zombies come, try to take down your garden. You have a, a team of four players, and something else that's really cool in this would be the potted plants. These things are all over the map, and they're designed to help you out. So how that works is you go up to a potted plant, find what you want to put down, and it could be like a pea shooter or a sunflower, a sunflower or whatever you want. There's different types. You're not going to just put like a little pea shooter next to the garden. You want the heavy stuff there. Pea shooters can be on the outside to sort of loosen them up as they come in and then you take them out yourself. Yeah, and you want a sunflower near where you think you're going to be the most so you can, you know, pick up health as you go. Yeah, it's, it's the strategy involved in this is, is there. It definitely is there. It takes some time mm -hmm. to actually get used to using those abilities. And you wonder, like, how do you get those in-game? Well, there's something called sticker packs. These are on the main menu and when you're in the lobby to go into the games. What these are... Are, are packs that you purchase with coins that you receive from in-game and the different pack levels are like you know a thousand coins, two thousand coins, five, twenty, fifty thousand coins. You open them up and they give you special abilities and costumes that are within the game so that's how you get like glasses on your cactus. The addiction level is huge on this because you constantly want to go back and earn coins to get more sticker packs to use in the potted plants and it's the cycle and it keeps going. What other game modes do we got? There's also multiplayer mode, and within that, there's four modes in that. Okay. There's Team Vanquish. Which means you got 50 points, and whoever hits 50 points first wins the game. So, Plants vs. Zombies, who's gonna win? Gardens and Graveyards as well. Now, this one is amazing. It's kind of like Capture the Flag, except you're capturing gardens that go along this long string of gardens in one single map. And the map is gigantic. It's so much fun. There's Classic Team Vanquish and Classic Garden and Graveyards. Now those are the same thing as I explained before, except no special abilities. And finally there's Welcome, and that's sort of like a free-for-all. It's I think that this is sort of like for the kids, if you got it for your child or something, it's just kind of go there, and if you do really badly, you get extra health when you come back, and it's just sort of like, it's and there's, okay, And there's no sad. special abilities in that. It's 12 on 12, I should probably mention. And oh, it gets so... <sighs> Again, if you have a headset, play with the headset. If you have friends that like third-person shooters, first-person shooters, get them to get this game. It's so much fun with a team of players that you know. It, it really reminds me of just the good old golden eye days, which is huge, and, and, and just something like Halo 2 when that was online. It was just so much fun, just so much fun. And what's your overall? So I'll get into it. Today I have some negatives and positives. Lots of positives. Hardly any negatives. These these negatives are not that bad because it kind of balances itself out. So no mini map in the game whatsoever. I kept so looking in the corner and I'm constantly like, there. where are my teammates? Where are my teammates? But there's an overhead view called boss mode. When you start these maps up, you have a choice of the four characters or boss mode, and that allows you to basically see the map from above. And you can drop down health, revive your your teammates if they have fallen. You can send down a little satellite thing that will show your teammates. What uh, what's going on yeah, in like the area? Yeah, like a radar sort of thing. And the last one has air left strike. my oh airstrike, and you can you can throw like chili bombs down or whatnot on the other side, and you can kill people from this mode. You also have to hit the right trigger and collect sun, just like you had to do in the mini game on your phone. Well, I called a mini game, but Plants vs Zombie on your phone. Another negative, no melee attack. So when you get into these little battles, like just shooting back and forth in a little corner. That's all it is. You can't run up to him and go, bam. But, again, it's it's a negative because I wish it really was there, but the special abilities kind of make up for that because you have three special abilities. 
again, you start the game out with with none. So as you level up, you get those, and it opens it up, and you're kind of like, ah, melee, I kind of, I just needed to mention it because I kind of wished it was there. There's also no ducking in the game, which I found really frustrating. There's times when you're being sniped by a cactus, and you're like, come on, let me duck. But again, special abilities let you build things like walls or chestnut walls. Yeah. Like, like out of the, yeah, the walnuts. And it, it's so funny because. You see the guy drop it and get behind it, and you kind of see him, but you have to be really, oh, you have to be a sharpshooter. So again, it's balancing, and they probably were like, well, that's going to defeat the purpose of the walls. And the positives to this game are, are there's a lot of them, so I'll get into it. The graphics are flawless. There's no pointy edges. It's it's very vibrant. It's in your face, and it, it reminds you of being a kid again. It's so, so beautiful. I'm 33 years old, and I heard kids playing it, talking with their fathers, and I'm playing it, and then you hear like a, a female over here playing it online and it's like everyone can play this game and everyone's gonna have fun. It's not just the kids who were like, what do I do here? It really works for everybody. The in-game coins keep me coming back to the game because I run out and I want more sticker packs to use in the game so I go and play more and it's just like a continuous cycle and I'm like, well, thankfully I don't have to spend a dollar every time I wanna unlock one of these packs. You just go in the game, shoot it up and blah, blah, blah. Will they add microtransactions? I'm telling you guys now if you're watching, because I think the team might be watching this, don't add that, please, because $40 for the game, at first I was like, ugh, $40. Yeah, you're like, I don't know, maybe 20, that seems like it's just too much for a, you know, like a shooter for fun game, but it actually is really No, no, detailed. after the a good four hours, it is worth $40. I can happily say, if you've paid $40 for this, you will get your money back because you will play it enough. Microtransactions should not show up in this game ever. I can understand DLC. I would love to see uh, new characters added, but again, please, no microtransactions in this. We know that you, you know, free to play on this phone here, but please, we don't want it in this game. And what do you give it overall? I give it a nine out of ten. It's almost flawless. It has to lose points because, unfortunately, there's those things I mentioned. I just wish they were in the game. Like you can't duck, no melee, no map. Those three things, if they were in the game, it would be like, oh, this is basically perfect. But I can't give it a perfect score. Nine out of 10 is still amazing. If you have thought about buying this, go out and buy it if you are a shooter fan. Yeah. It's that simple. I want to play it because it's so cute. And yeah. I'm not even a girl. Yeah, but you like pink. We wonder about you. I like pink. You know what I mean. Thank you for all the new subscriptions that have happened in the last couple of days. I really appreciate it. And Kat appreciates it, but she would say that, but she, I, I... I appreciate it, but Jay smells like poo. I farted, guys. It smells really, really... It's bad. Something died in your butt. Something you is... Something is bad here.